da 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 Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a book review for you all today and we are going to be chatting about My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. If you're interested in my thoughts, then go ahead and keep watching. My Lady Jane is a YA novel that retells the story of Lady Jane Grey who was Queen of England for nine days after the death of King Edward who was Henry VIII's son. Hopefully you followed that. And this story, as it says on the back, the comical, fantastical, romantical, entirely, but not really, true story of Lady Jane Grey. When I bought this book, it was somewhat on a whim. I hauled it recently. I had no idea what I was getting into, but boy am I glad that I bought it. This book was a lot of fun. This story involves not only Lady Jane Grey, you have three point of views throughout the story, all told from um, third person, the first of which is Edward, as in King Edward, the second of which is Jane, who is Edward's cousin, and the third is Gifford, who is who Jane ends up marrying in this story. And then you follow that rinse, repeat throughout the entire story. So every third chapter you get back to Edward. And it was so much fun. The parts of this story that I didn't realize were a part of this story is that this book has some magical elements. There are essentially two types of people in the world, one of which is a Verity, which is just a regular person, and the second of which is what they call an Ethian, which is a person that can turn into an animal. And this could be any animal. King Henry VIII was a lion. It could be a bird. It could be a donkey. It could be a mouse, a cat, a dog anything, you name it. And there is a lot of strife between these two groups of people with the Verities largely being in a place of power. And that plays a central role throughout this book. And that's the really fun, interesting element throughout this book. And that's all I'm going to say as far as what this book is about. It's about that and Edward and Jane and Gifford and how their lives collide and coincide and influence each other. And I gave this book four out of five stars. I didn't expect to give it four out of five stars. I enjoyed it so, so very much. I'm gonna peek at my notes real quick to see where we wanna go next. So I'm gonna kind of go over what I loved about this book. The first thing I loved about this book was the dry sense of humor. Not only from some of the characters, specifically Edward, Edward's sense of humor in this book is so much fun. It's wonderful. I am always here for dry sense of humor. Sarcastic, dry humor is my favorite kind of humor. And you also get dry humor from the narrators themselves because the narrators at times address you directly, which I found to be really fun. At the end, it seemed to happen a little bit more, which I didn't enjoy the amount so much at the end, but it wasn't bad. I just found that it became too much, but nothing for me to really dock it much for that. So a dry sense of humor from these characters that was just really nice to see, especially in such a young group of people. I believe that Gifford is the oldest of the three main characters and he's 19. Uh, Jane is 16 and then I believe Edward is around 16 as well. And I also just thought this book was so much fun. It's just an adventurous good time. It's told in two parts. Um, the first part being when Jane is queen for the nine days and then what happens after is part two and there's no other word to describe it. It's just fun. It's not really whimsical I would say. It's just a lot of fun and if you're looking for a book that you just want to get lost in because I found it so easy to get lost in this book. This is a really quick read. It's a 500 page book essentially but it doesn't feel like a 500 page book and I just I love that part of it. And let's see, I also loved Edward's changing thoughts on women. Obviously he's the King of England and women are not in a place of power, but he begins to question things about women and what they can and can't do. And that whole commentary was amazing. And the last thing that I just want to mention, and I'm not going to say anything more about it, but there is a conversation that happens between Edward and Gifford. That is amazing. It's these two young men trying to be very manly but talk about love and 
it probably was my favorite part of this entire book. It is worth reading this book just for that section, in my opinion. As far as the things that I didn't love about this book, I didn't have much. Uh, their writing style was fine. I didn't find it anything exciting or super new, but it was good. It was good writing, but there were cliches at time, at times, excuse me, that I wasn't sure if they were meant to be like hipster cliche, like we're gonna make this a cliche. We know it's a cliche, so take it ironically, or if it was actually just that's how they wrote it and it ended up being cliche. So it's more due to my confusion on it that I didn't love that because to me it wasn't clear because there is so much dry humor throughout this book that it very well could be they're just trying to be humorous about these cliches, but it just wasn't clear. But Overall, this book is a lot of fun. I love how they reimagined this character who is a very strong female that, you know, at times she's even borderline unlikable and I really enjoyed that. Gifford was definitely my favorite of the three narrators, although Edward was also really good. Oh, was Gifford my favorite? I don't know. I guess I'll just say Jane was my least favorite of the narrators, but or not narrator's point of view that you received, but it wasn't a bad point of view. They were all fun and enjoyable, and it's a good historical read. Just go pick it up. It's a blast. It's fun. It's fun. Have I said that it's fun? Because it's really fun. But there you have it, you guys. If you've read this book and want to chat about it, let's chat about it. If you're interested in reading it or have any other questions for me, please let me know down in the comments. But if you like this video, please like it. And if you loved it, please subscribe. And we will see you in my next video. Happy reading. I don't know why I have a belt on right now. I'm at home. Who am I trying to impress? Certainly not my husband. In, oh geez. Shortly after, uh, what's his face? What's his face? Great job. That's how you start a book review. By what's his face. <laughs>